Hey, it's Pastor Robert, and for this Sunday that we're focusing on Psalm 119, I thought that a, a good location would be to be at the ridges and looking out over the campus, and so kind of high up here on this hill. And the reason I chose this place for the location for our prayer with Psalm 119 is because, um, as we talked about in the sermon, Psalm 119 is probably uh, the most significant of all the 150 psalms because it focuses on uh, the word it, it celebrates god's word and god's laws and as we discovered in the sermon uh, to celebrate god's laws is to um, see the law as how god formed us and how god has redeemed us and how god calls us to live out our faith um, day by day and that's not always an easy process. So we're gonna follow Psalm 119 a little bit. There's 176 verses, so I'm not gonna pray through each verse, uh, but there's 22 sections of eight verses each uh, based on the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, it's an acrostic, as we learned about, which I think is really awesome. And the English translation was totally lost because we don't catch that. But in Hebrew, um, we would see that. So I might take the first verse of each section and just pause um, at some of those and we'll have a time of prayer and end with the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Lord, help us to know that our faith is about walking. It's about um, trusting in you each step of the way. And how can young people keep their way pure by guarding it according to your word? And so, Lord, we do lift up to you, especially young people. We thank you that your word can be um, a source of light uh, for them in this very confusing world. And so we do pray for our young people. What a great verse for that section. Deal bountifully with your servants so that I may live and observe your word. We thank God for being bountiful to us because God knows that it, um, is, it can be a struggle in discerning what is the path that God has in mind for us. So I think God is very bountiful in um, showing us uh, patience uh, when we're trying to sort things out. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. And I think, oh God, sometimes we do feel confined um, by uh, the situation we might be facing, but um, we are revived when we uh, come to you for our source of support. Let your steadfast love come to us, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. And Lord, we do thank you for being so faithful to us. Um, your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. And I think that's another example of how the laws are so much more than just commandments, O oh God, that, that we are reminded that uh, you have fashioned us and we have been created by you. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for being our anchor. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all day long. And it's wonderful to be out here on a beautiful afternoon just meditating on God's laws. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. Oh Lord, help us to be single-minded. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. And so, dear God, with all of the um, forces of evil in the world, we want to keep our focus on you, for you are the true light for us to follow. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. You are righteous, O Lord, and your judgments are right. Look on my misery and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in all of your words. So if you ever feel you're tre being treated unfairly, uh, just hold fast to God's word and trust in God. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. 
And so we do pray, O oh God, for you to um, bring clarity to whatever we might be facing right now. And we pray for so many needs in our world. We know that our world needs clarity uh, with all that we're facing. Um, so Lord, we do lift up all of these um, commands to you that we would live according to the light that you are providing for us. And I pray that all of us, O oh God, would be able to wrestle, struggle, um, discern, and when we fail, to know that we can uh, uh, trust in you again and you receive us. You're very patient with us and we thank you, O oh God. And so, Lord, we do lift up to you all of our needs that we have this day and prayers for other people that we know who um, have a special need. And we uh, think of them today. And together now, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.